Red Rising and welcome back everyone to Shea Seeking and I'm back with another video oh there it goes again um <clears throat> yeah so I was just um sitting here thinking about like the um energy of a, like a bone collector energy right but also you know I feel like I think it was just like uh, cuz I put this I put this picture up the other day on my um on my Instagram or whatever but I I thought about it I'm like mm, I don't really like what that's depict depicting but I think that this is depicting something it was some reason why I mean because again all of us I feel like you know you see how beautiful she is you know her dress is white and she looks pure and everything but I mean with all of this stuff around her, you know, it's hard to depict because, you know, I feel like, like, like I always say, we are our ancestors to a certain extent. Hold on, let me open this door. So, um, you know what I'm saying? This could be depicting someone with all their ancestors around them that's goons, right? Or... Like I said, this might be she's a, a a beacon of light and all these these other beings around her are of darkness. I mean, they don't have to be, but I mean, it does look a little grim, okay? Um, but, you know, it, it made me think about, like, it made me look at, like, how, like I told you guys, when I look at, like, certain pixelated images, I can see things in the pixels, okay? And um, that's something that we used to do a lot. Uh, I feel like we used to do it a lot on this on this channel, but um, it started to make me pay attention more to what I see in the background when it comes to certain people on YouTube or something like that. Because most people are watching stuff on television or you know YouTube or whatever, you know. And so it made me think about that, and it made me think about like liking and subscribing and sharing energy and. How even when people have like a million subscribers, some that's like energy. That's like an energy transfer here. And I guess it depends on how the person is deep down in their soul, right? Really? But then there could be artificial energy. So people that are just mind controlled and they're just watching people like a zombie and just worshiping everything they say and everything they do. You know, like I just, I guess it depends, right? On how you, how you are, if you have the gift of gab, what you're talking about, you know, shit like that. So, yeah, for me, it's like no offense or anything, but, you know, like I said, the, the way I show support is through positive energy or through energy or a, a like or something like that. I don't necessarily, like, I stop subscribing to people's channels because I feel like as soon as I notice when I, this may not be everybody's situation, but I noticed when I was subscribed, then... By the time I, okay, I'll watch a couple of videos and say, okay, I like this person, I'll subscribe. And then all of a sudden their energy turns, right? And so it's just like, mm, I don't like that because it's like, like, again, we know in the Bible, most of the things that turn people against each other or do start these things is envy, jealousy, whatever, whatever, right? So it makes me think like, um, or strife or whatever, right? So it made me think about, you know, a couple of readers or whatever is more older, Okay that are cunning and I feel like they are more cunning towards the girls that are like mid age that are coming into this so-called divinity or something, or we're going over into another portion or part of our journey or something at this particular point in time. And, um, you know, I don't know, like I said, it, 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 I still watch certain people, even if their energy is kind of off, especially when I feel like they're really heavily in my energy, right? Um, and it's not that many. Okay. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It's not that many. Um, or probably only like two just to see what they're up to because you know, it's, it's almost like, wow, like you're really fucking cunning. So it's almost like studying someone, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, -oh. um, like studying someone like, um, you know, how somebody would study people for, like a therapist or a psychiatrist would study probably people and their their personalities or something. So 
Yeah, I just see like very cunning ways that people do things. And it's, it's just, I don't know, I guess it just bothers me. But again, I'm just like, mm. you know, as long as I know myself, you know what I'm saying? I guess that's really all that matters. I know, I know my agenda. I don't have one. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I think I'm a little bit too free spirited because, you know, people can take just because I just shoot straight. People can take that and take it and bend it out of proportion. But I just want to talk about like people's energy. Like you have to be careful who you listen to and shit like that, who you watch and like how many people spotted that energy in that video. You know what I'm saying? How many people actually spotted that in that video? How many people are going to admit that that's what we're seeing there, right? Excuse me. And that energy is transmittable or transferable, meaning that, you know, somewhat, you're kind of somewhat inviting that energy into your home. And I don't know, like I said, that, that feminine energy, she just gives me that energy of that Lizzie energy that I keep talking about, right? She just gives me that energy of Esther. And I think her energy sticks with me. And the reason why, like I said, if there's one or two, she's one is because of her face. You know, like you start going back into your childhood and start seeing certain things that maybe was seen and unseen back then. Like if I can see, if I can sense things that are seen and unseen now, you know what I'm saying? What, what 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 about back then? Like all the little incidents and stuff that happened around me that were strange or whatever. And it's like there's this vendetta. This, it's like this person may even know a lot about you, but this this means this is a hovering like evil fairy godmother. You know what I'm saying? That's been in your life for a long time, and they think that they have power, own ownership, or you know, it kind of gives me the energy of a mixture of Esther from the originals, right? When she came in and tried to dictate and, and, the, and the children didn't want to do what she wanted them to do. So she started to try to tear everything out of their life, their love life, their money, like everything that they love, she tried to tear it out of them. <clears throat> and then she kidnapped Elijah and made him go back and see all the bad things that he had did or something like that, right? And since, again, I, for some reason I can relate to his energy, but also Klaus, but also Rebecca, but also um, the other dude, okay? Um, what's the dude? Marcel, or I think that was his name. So it's like, um, it's that energy. And then the other person that I'm, I'm thinking of is the, 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 because I saw a good and a bad part of that oak tree or whatever the oak tree or the oak or the great oak or whatever the fuck the tree was. Okay, the thing, the willow, the willow. All right, and then also the witch that was, um, she was not bad, but she was, you know, she, well, when she told her version of the story, you can see why she was the way she was. I will say she, I won't say she wasn't bad, but she wanted to get, she wanted to get Hope's blood or whatever, right? And then she wanted to attach her to her. Um, you know, it, it almost made me think about, so she can raise her like she did Freya, right? And Freya, you know, everybody else, like even how she seen it or how she seen the story or whatever, but the way Freya seen the storyline of her was not a good depiction. You know what I'm saying? So regardless of what, that is the child that was raised with her. So regardless of what it was, she felt some kind of way about the situation. And I could see why Freya felt the way that she felt. Being kind of like tethered to her all that time. So again, even her story makes it like she did, She wasn't always bad or she's not really bad to the bone. It's still, you know... Um, what the, the child went through growing up around her was not so pleasant. It was, it was, it was controlling. It was, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody that is just say, well, I'm going to tell it this way because I want to control the situation or some shit like that. You know, and it, I feel like, again, that it could be like a somewhat of a mothering or acting mothering energy. Um, because again, I, f I feel like this person told a story about her and a friend of hers that used to sit on the phone and gossip with her and all this other stuff. And then it just made me think about what, what is this, what is this anchoring energy between that Lizzie figure and my actual mother? And, and you know, why, why, why is it that I thought I saw a doppelganger of my mother? Why is it that when I told my dad about this story and I didn't even tell him aspects of this woman that he actually seen this woman too? 
So again, could this be a succubus energy of my father? You know, that was around when, you know what I'm saying? Or a friend of my mother's or whatever. Because I think she said she stopped talking to this friend or whatever. You know, because of whatever reasons. Because the person was a gossiper or something or something like this. And, um... But I feel like what some of these people do on their platform is a form of gossip. Um... Yeah, but I, the, the reason why that channel, like I said, is one of the ones that I watch, even though I know it's very cunning. I, I you know, it's just like, because sometimes it seems like, oh, okay, this is balance. You know, okay, she's trying to be this way. But it's almost like when, at first, when I, I think I found her channel, I watched it like three for like, uh, like a week or whatever. I probably watched like a video or two every other day or something like that. And I felt like... Things were okay, but then if it was some energy, a feminine energy around me that was like, why aren't you paying attention to me? Why aren't you paying attention to me? You know, and then I just stopped. When I started seeing certain things, you know, then I just stopped watching that channel. It's almost like even when she was telling that storyline, I could imagine myself sitting there listening to my mom on the phone, maybe talking to her. And, you know, it's just like this weird fucking instant. Like I said, it's like something has been blinded or binded. It's almost like the binding that, that Diana's parents did to her when she was young, right? So who knows if they were trying to be harmful or not or, you know, uh, when when somebody might have binded me, okay? But... Mm. Or maybe this person was ciphering or playing in my energy all this time or trying to control. So that's kind of scary when you think about you know, your livelihood and things like this and things that people are trying to portray or project. And then they are also trying to control, like how much of it are you controlling? So you're trying to control me and you're trying to control this person that you're trying to tell the storyline. You know, it's just weird like that. But then I told y'all about my dog Rambo, okay? And I told y'all about... And I feel like this is a spirit animal or it's connected to a spirit being, right? And then the times when I almost drowned or I was trying to help somebody else that was drowning and I almost drowned like two or three times. So it's like a lifeguard energy, like somebody was there with me, you know? So it's almost like this energy has been watching over. Like this is, I don't know, it's weird, y'all. It's weird. And I think I, I, there's a connection between a masculine and this spirit energy. And I feel like that's the energy that she doesn't want, that maybe she's tied to, too. And she just doesn't want that to happen. I feel like everything she do all day is just, it's almost like a sense of, like, her watching me and then hurrying up and doing a video. It's so weird. Mm -hmm. And these are people that are deflectors when they know they've been caught. They get a little bit more crafty with the way that they do things and a little bit more cunning. But I wonder also if this has something to do with whatever spiritual uh, thing I feel like was done to the D-baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, if she did that to Freya and then now Hope is here, you know, like, you know, you know, there's something. There's something. Because I wouldn't be really focusing on it if, if it wasn't. But again, ain't no one monkey gonna stop no show. But I just like to point out things like that. I just I just want to talk about how careful people should be about who and what. And there is something, like I, I actually just watched one, um, re one reader and um, I feel like, you know, her energy, I think from the time that I accidentally stumbled across her page maybe a while back to now so I feel like these these women know that I'm watching them so they're trying to target people that they know are watching them and you know uh try to turn people against people that might speak against readers but again because it's about their money or whatever I understand that I understand that but again I'm about people right and about exposed I'm a defense energy or a protector or a warrior spirit and so when I see certain things, it's just like, that's probably why I used to call people like, I don't know. I, I'm thinking about that word siren a little bit now. 
<clears throat> they, people don't like the fact that somebody's on to them. So now I feel like they're making it their um, mission to get a little bit more devious with what they're they're doing. I feel like, you know, some of these people are stuck on one story, but they're also like raking people in because they're making people think it could be their story, which could be causing anarchy and confusion in other people's lives because it don't matter. You know, it's a very, you know, and that's why I'm just starting to look at this whole energy of like seers and readers and stuff like that and just how good it is to have pure hearted people. And I guess that's up to you to discern who you feel is pure or not, you know, but, um, yeah, there's always a good and a bad in everything. There's always a good and bad in everything. But I noticed there's this mob mentality about anybody that speaks against what readers are doing. Even when other readers say, I don't care what, what nobody say. I'm about to just say it. Some of these readers are doing this, this, and that. You know, I, I feel like, again, they may get a little bit of the brunt of something too. Like the fact that people got to come off like, well, I don't know. I shouldn't say it, but you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to say it. And I don't care if people, you know, it, it lets me know that, you know, sometimes people can feel the heat after they do that. Because then the collective can really link up. I, I feel like there was another feminine energy. I said something about I posted her on the wall and then a day later or whatever, she was like, oh, we got to all pull together because somebody's out here doing this, this, and that. And I'm just thinking like, oh, shit. <laughs> but I don't really be concerned. You know what I'm saying? Not really in real life. So, yeah. So I was just saying, just be careful. Like, I, it, why, and that's the thing. I think that's why people don't maybe, maybe I don't be having no friends and shit. Because when I go into something, I see something that's off. You know what I'm saying? I've mentioned it. You don't have to take heed to it at all. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to take heed to it at all. That's not my mission. I don't have any direct person that I'm talking about. I'm talking about a whole energy that I'm just talking about. The energy that I see some of these people resonate in. And it's, just, it's the cunning tongue of some of these individuals. Right? There's also a Pisces energy. Right? They may even have something to do with Pisces in there. You know, I'm not being too specific. You know? Um, but they might even have something to do with Pisces in their, um, their backdrop. Okay? These are people that, like, again, they, they, they say, like, they're with their tongue, but really there's something envious and dark or something about a certain individual, you know, uh, you know, these people might even try to, like, again, you might look at um, some of the stuff on my platform as very thorough, right, when it comes to the information of the indigenous and the toxinous people and the Egyptians and the pyramids and shit like that. But these, you know, these are people that are, you know, they talk a lot and everything, but there's no real substance in it. The reason why I talk kind of like how I do now is because, again, you can go ahead and check the thousand something fucking videos that's on there about these particular things that I've already talked about. And it, it, it was like source took me through this something where the past 10 years on my Facebook, it just turned into not even a personal Facebook 